The Navy considers purchase of vertical launch anti-submarine rocket R and has issued a request for information RFI, notice to industry for what it calls a future long-range anti-submarine warfare weapon LRAW. Here we consider the options and what the implications would be if this weapon is brought into service, testing the market in simple terms, LRAW can be described as a missile fired from a MK-41 BLS cell that can deliver a lightweight, or very lightweight, anti-submarine torpedo beyond the range of existing submarine-launched heavyweight torpedoes. The RN says LRAW must integrate with its combat and sonar systems and 500 missiles should be used as the costing assumption. It should be emphasized that an RFI is in no way a commitment to procurement and is just a method of gathering proposals from industry in order to understand what is available, the RFI is also clear the RN is not seeking the torpedo, only the missile to deliver it. LRAW would therefore probably carry either the existing Stingray Mod 1 or more likely, the future lightweight torpedo currently under development by BAE Systems. The RN will consider proposals for completely novel solutions, MOS, military off-the-shelf, i.e. existing weapons or modifications of an existing missile design. The Navy considers purchase of vertical launch anti-submarine rocket R and has issued a request for information, RFI, BLS, which notice offers to the opportunity what it calls of fielding a wide variety of anti-submarine warfare weapon. The Type 26 in particular is seen as a high-end ASW combatant, but without LRAW and lacking a torpedo launch system, the market in simple terms, can only prosecute a submarine contact by helicopter. From a MK-41 BLS cell that can deliver a light delivery or very under consideration but a missile based solution beyond is the, the range most of reliable existing and has many advanced heavyweight torpedoes. sonar and processing technology the RN has increased the detection range must integrate both with its combat and sonar systems and finding and then holding a submarine contact is always a challenge for a surface ship. It should be emphasized this that is an RFI is in no sustain way an if the submarine is aware it has just been detected. A method of gathering proposals from a industry that in order to understand what is available hours a day in all weathers and can hit the submarine with little warning and at a good distance from the ship is a very attractive option. LRAW would the further away from the ship carry with an existing the better, even if one just more reacting likely, to a fleeting the sonar contact, torpedo currently under development there is by often great systems. tactical value in forcing the, the RN submarine to evade, proposals even if not destroyed. completely novel solutions, putting Most a weapon in the water may force it to turn away or maneuver weapons hard, or modifications causing the wire guiding torpedo to may have launched to break, this category of weapons is loosely referred to as ASRAC, will be fitted with MK-41 VLS which offers the opportunity of fielding a wide variety of new weapons. Since the introduction the of BLS, in particular the U.S. has a high-end ASW vertical launch but without LRAW and lacking a torpedo a launch system, quickly deliver TLS a lightweight can only prosecute a submarine torpedo contact to 24 by kilometers away from the ship. Other uncred methods of As torpedo rock delivery are under the years, consideration, although the, the basics basic are much the same the most reliable options. and has many advantages, improving sonar and processing technology has increased the detection range of both passive and active sonars, but finding and then holding a submarine contact is always a challenge for a surface ship. This is especially hard to sustain if the submarine is aware it has been detected. A weapon that can react instantly 24 hours a day in all weathers and can hit the submarine with little warning and at a good distance from the ship is a very attractive option. The further away from the ship it can engage the better, even if just reacting to a fleeting sonar contact. There is often great tactical value in forcing the submarine to evade, even if not destroyed. Putting a weapon in the water may force it to turn away or maneuver hard, causing the wire guiding a torpedo it may have launched to break, this category of weapons is loosely referred to as ASROC, anti-submarine rocket, after the system developed by the USN in the 1960s. Since the introduction of VLS, the USN now calls the system Vertical Launch ASROC, VLA. A rocket can quickly deliver a lightweight homing ASW torpedo up to 24 kilometers away from the ship. ASROC has been refined over the years, although the basics are much the same. Mo's options, 